chapter 7. I sit in my lounge in London with my old friend Ryan. His comfort is well needed currently, as every day is a struggle which needs to be numbed. Autumn shines through the window as he asks, So, what are we going to do from here? The most evil deeds swim in my brain, thoughts of revenge and anger, but I naturally stop myself and another voice counteracts. To seem remotely stable, I mutter, I don't know. I sigh deeply as if a weight is flattening my lungs. Five hours later, he has left and I sit on the corner of my bed. Ring, ring. I clasp my hand on the burgundy telephone. Hello? A raspy, ghost-like voice responds. Mia. Mia. Immediate fear pierces into my heart. How do you know my name? I am Mother Widow. You hear me all the time, but you choose to ignore me. I'm puzzled. What, what are you talking about? Just put down the phone. I don't know why, but I follow her instructions. Silence. I try to concentrate. There it is. I jump. Who is this in my head? Another voice? What's happening? I know what you really want. Do it. Silence. I think for a second and reach under the bed for a book. It is a yellow dust covered journal. It contains all the names of everyone in my lover's life who ever did wrong to him. You may think this is obsessive, but they deserve the same pain that he suffered. I want to kill everyone who ruined my husband's life.